the wrong man, the wrong woman, the wrong relationship. Choosing right relationships. <laughs> Woman, the wrong man, the wrong relationship. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. You know, relationships are so very, very important in our lives, and choosing the right people to have a relationship with is key to how a relationship is going to turn out. So often, people are so frivolous with their relationships that they just go into relationships without really thinking about whom they're going into a relationship with. And then once they get immersed in that relationship and try to pull out of it, that is often where a lot of problems begin. And so sometimes it's very, very challenging and difficult to get out of a relationship once we've entered into it and began to build it. And so I'm very, very particular about who I build a relationship with, who I open that door to, so to speak, to build a relationship with, because I realize that people can affect my life. If I go into a job situation and I have a boss that's extremely challenging and difficult to work with, well, that can make my work experience miserable. And I don't want that. So if I'm applying for a job, I may not know the personality of the boss, but I try to learn as much as I can beforehand. And if I'm in a situation where, say, we've got a new boss and that new boss's personality is challenging and difficult, it can make the workplace situation very challenging and difficult as well. And so with relationships, say like dating relationships and people who marry a, what they call a wrong person, it can happen. I've seen wonderful people pair up with a person who was not right for their life and their life became a miserable experience, all based upon that one relationship. I remember a guy many, many years ago, he was going through kind of a lonely time, a very good looking guy with a very good career, but because of where he was positioned work-wise, he didn't have a lot of opportunity to date. And so he chose this one woman who everyone knew was not a right person for his life, but he went with her anyhow, and he ended up marrying her. Need I say that it was a miserable experience for him. I'm not exactly how long-term it turned out, but I know he was very, very unhappy. He had chosen the wrong person for his life based upon loneliness and neediness at the time. And I often say that if you're lonely or needy, that is not the best time to enter a relationship because often we'll make needy choices and needy choices tend not to be good choices. And so for me, I believe in choosing right people for my life, looking at who the other person is. Are we compatible? They may be a nice person, I may be a nice person, but we may not be compatible, which could end up causing an unhappy, bigger relationship. And so number one, I look at, are we compatible? Number two, I look at what kind of person is this person? What do they believe? What are their moral values? What are their values in general? And if I question their values, I probably should question the relationship, the potential of a relationship. So I like to know a lot about people that I'm going to invest my time and energy into because I remember one friendship many, many years ago, and it really wasn't a close friendship, but it was with a girl a woman who I shared a work environment with. And because I was living in one area and traveling to and from my work, which was about two hours, she invited me to stay at her apartment and sleep on her couch so that I wouldn't have to drive all the way home on the days that I worked. And so I did that. So we sort of built up a little friendship there, although I really questioned a lot of things about her. And one time I invited her to my home where I lived and she came out and she was just awful and embarrassing. And we 
gone out, um, I think it was, you know, to a dancing place together. And it was just so embarrassing to even be connected to her with her negative behavior that she demonstrated when we were out. And so once I got back, you know, I simply asked her to please leave. And it was not you know, she did leave, but she wrote me very nasty letters after that. And the thing was, it was, fortunately, I was able to disentangle myself from her, but sometimes it's not that easy to disentangle um, from a relationship like that. And so I am very selective about who I choose to build a relationship with. And I don't let loneliness or need dictate my choices because when I'm coming from a place of fulfillment, I will tend to attract relationships or go into relationships that will be fulfilling to me. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope to talk to you soon again. I hope you like, share, subscribe to both of my channels, Diana Brienne Fairchild and Grandma's Porch with Diana Brienne Fairchild. So from Grandma's Porch to wherever you're at, I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. to relax and a place to enjoy.